Good morning. I'm Reverend Curtis Peak here at Congregational Church of the Chimes. We are so glad that you are joining us this morning. This morning, I would like for us to all take a deep breath. I want us to take a moment and settle down. Take a deep breath and let it out. Get comfortable. You know how when you throw a rock into a stream, the rock settles at the bottom? Let's settle our minds, let's settle our bodies. And I want you to acknowledge what you are feeling at the moment. If it's being calm for you, being hard, I want you to acknowledge that. And if you find yourself frustrated and stressed, acknowledge that also. See, God wants to be present in all parts of our lives not just the easy parts of our life. He wants to be there for the hard, the good, the bad. God is always there for us. And ask for the light and insight as you prepare for this day. It's a beautiful morning here in Sherman Oaks, and some of us might not feel that way, but I want you to remember that God is here with you. And I want you to take a moment and think about the coronavirus. How has it impacted your life? Has it made you feel more isolated? Has it made you feel more distant from people? That's okay, because everybody goes through these emotions right now. But one thing I want you to remember that God is with you and God will be there for you. Today is a new day. God wants you to know from Psalms 118 verse 24, this is the day that the Lord has made we will rejoice and be glad in it. Yesterday is gone and dark clouds are gone. The past is behind us. No longer mourn for the past. It is time for us to start a fresh start. It all starts with your attitude. Wake up in the morning. Thank God for the day because your attitude will determine your altitude. Your attitude will determine your altitude. God wants to take us higher and higher. And every day is a new beginning. And what happened yesterday, it really doesn't matter. You wake up reborn and ready to embrace a new day. And let's make the best of it. These are stressful times, but we can make the best of these days. Each morning that God gives us is a gift. Every day is a gift. It means that you are given another day on this planet and you can do with it what you want but your attitude will determine your altitude if you're sitting home and you feel like you want to sing a song find a song that encourages you and if you're home alone get dressed up sit by the window take a selfie of yourself I want you to entertain yourself and one other thing take no one into the future who is trying to drag you back into your past. This is a new day. We can't go back. Things will never be the same again, but we can go forward with the word of God and knowing that God is always with us. We will go forward. We will have the faith that God has given us. We will have the faith of a mustard seed. That's all we need. And so I want you to know also that your pathway is brighter because of the glory of the Lord lights up our way. He shows us the way he wants us to go. We need to listen to him and do yourself a favor today. Love yourself. Forgive yourself. Forgive yourself for anything that you feel that you need to let go of. God is there for you. God wants to hear everything that you have to say. I want you to reach forward and lean into this day. And I want you to remember this. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day the Lord has made. It's a beautiful day. I was reading something yesterday, and I don't know how many of you know C.S. Lewis, but he wrote this in 1942. Listen to what he had to say in 1942, and we can use this today. It's happening right now. Satan said, I will cause anxiety. I will cause fear and panic. I will shut down businesses. I will shut down schools, places of worship, 
and sports events. I will cause economic turmoil. But Jesus comes in and Jesus lets us know. I will bring together your neighbors, restore the family unit. I will bring back dinner to the kitchen table. I will help people slow down their lives and appreciate what really matters. I will teach my children to rely on me and not the world. We cannot be conformed by the world. We need to let it go. And I will teach my children to trust me and not their money or material resources. As we all know now, as we go through the coronavirus, nothing matters. No matter how much money you have, your materialistic things, we are all the same. We are all God's children. God loves us. We need to remember that whether we're in Sherman Oaks, California, any part of the United States or the world, remember we are all one. We are the same. And let us pray for everybody that's going through this right now. The people on the East Coast, which is New York City, they're getting hit very hard right now. But know that God is with them. Let us all say a prayer for them when you do have your prayers. I want to thank you this morning for tuning in as I would like to leave you with the prayer. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, being alone is hard. We were created for community, not for confinement. But God, we are grateful that no matter how long we may feel, you never leave us or forsake us. And we're grateful for technology that helps us stay in touch with each other. Today, Heavenly Father, please remind us that this time of social distancing and isolation, it will not last forever. Give us the strength to endure this difficult season and deepen our connection with you and with your people, Heavenly Father. I want you to empower us with an extra dose of your love, an extra dose of peace, an extra dose of hope, an extra dose of joy, because God, we need it. We need it so bad. And remind us of your promises. And Heavenly Father, please heal our land. Heal this world. We know that you are here with, with us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please tune in tomorrow morning. Dr. Bingham will be here. I'll be back Thursday. We are so appreciative of you. If you have any concerns, please reach out to us. Call the church office. We will get back in touch with you. We love you. We're grateful for you. Thank you so much and have a great day. Amen.